What is up everyone? The Sephora VIB sale finally started. I went to the store yesterday to pick up a few things and I'm very excited to try some of the stuff on with you guys right now. I got several complexion products, several foundations and several concealers. So I really wanted to make sure to go and get matched rather than shop online because we all know how that goes. Let's start with a primer that I got. This is a new Huda Blur Balm, no Blur Jam. And I've heard good things about it. This texture looks quite interesting. This is supposed to be both blurring and like other primers, it's supposed to extend the wear of your makeup. I'm curious to see just how blurring it is. Is it going to help with my pores? It feels nice and cooling. And I'll be doing dedicated reviews for most of these products. Actually, yeah, for most of these products. You now it's supposed to instantly mattify, soft blur effect. All right, well, that feels nice. For foundation and concealer, we have a few options. And the reason why I got several concealers and also foundations is because I want to start making videos where I do multiple day wear tests to see really how they perform on skin such as mine. I'm 43 years old. And I want to see how these concealers and foundations perform on my skin. I think you guys will find that super helpful as well. For foundation, I picked up the Hourglass Soft Glow Foundation, also the Urban Decay Hydromaniac. I'm super curious about this foundation, the House Labs. What well, is it? Triclone. Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. Yeah, super curious about this one. So I think this is the one that we're gonna use today. I got it in 270 light, medium, neutral. I'm not sure exactly how many shades there are of this foundation, but at the store, the kiosk was full. There were so many shades. It has nice coverage, no scent. Let's see how it does here on my cheeks where I have some melasma. Wow, what I'm noticing now is that in the store, this looked like a really close match, but right now I'm seeing it kind of warm. And this is a Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki F79. I'm gonna add just a little bit more on my cheeks because I do want to see if it can cover the melasma, but it's definitely a good medium coverage. They're not completely covered, but that's okay. I'm not going for 100% full, full coverage, but I wanted to see just how much we could get out of this formula. Wow, that's not bad at all, actually. Is this full coverage? All right, so far so good. I can't wait to see how this foundation does on a multiple day wear test. For concealer, let's see, I got the Dior Backstage, the Hourglass Concealer, It Bye Bye Under Eye, the new Milk Makeup Concealer, and the Huda Beauty Faux Filter. Which one do I want to use? Let's go with the Milk Makeup. I have it in the shade 9N. I don't know if you have to shake it. No scent whatsoever. That looks like a pretty big applicator. I like that it's pointy though. So you can put it right here where I have darkness and a little bit out here. And that's it. That's all I want to put on. And I'm gonna use a Sephora 71 Pro Concealer Brush. And all these brushes are 30% off during the sale. Everything that is Sephora collection is 30% off. I already had this brush and I do like it. It looks a little bit light. It didn't look this light at the store. That's because I wasn't wearing this foundation, which is a tiny bit deeper than my regular skin tone. Wow, yeah, now I'm looking in my big mirror. <laughs> There's a huge difference in tones. Particularly excited to try the Dior concealer. I've heard so many good things about this one. Also the Bye Bye Under Eye, actually all of them, which is why I got them. Can't wait to do some really thorough wear tests on these. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on those videos. I'm liking the coverage. Let's see what we got for powder. I got the Huda Beauty Easy Bake in Pound Cake and the One Size Turn Up the Base Powder Foundation in Light 4. This is more of a foundation and I don't need any more coverage. So how about we go for Huda? I'm very excited to try this powder because I've never tried it before and I know that it's a go-to for many, many people. So this is called Easy Bake. You're supposed to apply a generous amount of this powder. It says, pack a generous layer under the eyes from corners, uh, dense layer, huh? I don't know how that's gonna look, but let's see. Let's let's see what happens. Dense layer, okay, that's, that's a lot. There's no way that this is gonna look good. <laughs> this is just gonna emphasize every single fine line. But hey, I'm following directions. This definitely has a scent. It's funny that when I asked the associate for the powder, the first thing she did, she opened it and she's like, smell it though. Just make sure that you like the scent. I don't mind it. I normally don't mind scent in makeup. There's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> no way. No way, come on. 
corners of the mouth. Let me just make sure that there's nothing already on the lines because if there's creasing already, I'm just gonna set the creases in place. Okay, we're gonna let that chill for a minute, for a few minutes. For blush, I got this Laura Mercier Cheek to Cheek Tinted Moisturizer Blush Duo. I'm really curious to see what this formula looks like because if it's anything like the Rare Beauty blushes, I'm gonna love it. Let's see, we have Southbound and Coastline. That's a pretty rosy color. It's definitely not as pigmented as the Rare Beauty blushes. Actually, I'm gonna put some more so that we're able to see the color. It also depends how much you blend, right? Because we could leave it just at that. Make sure to blend the edges. And that's a really pretty everyday color. Let's look at the darker one. And this is Coastline. This is the shade that I'm going to be trying on. They don't seem to be particularly luminous or glowy. They're not matte, but they have very little glow, which I like. I'm going to use a MAC brush for this. Obviously, I'm trying to avoid the areas where I put the powder. Maybe I should have put the blush before I put the powder on. All right, let's try to avoid the powder area on this side. Does it smell like anything? No. You can see, you see this dark line? That's what happens when you put cream products on top of powder. But after I wipe off the powder, I will take this brush, the one I use for the foundation, and I'll try to fix that area. Loving the blush. Let's do lips next. I'm super excited about this lip kit. This was $45 and it brings a full-size Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, which is already about 30 something. It also has a Rare Beauty, a full-size Rare Beauty gloss and a bunch of other brands that I haven't tried. Let's see what it looks like. And perhaps you're not as excited as I am about this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick because so many people have it already in their collection. This is such a classic shade but I don't have it. I have no idea what this looks like on me. I'm familiar with the formula because I have the Pillow Talk Medium, but the original shade, I, yeah, I've never tried it. So I'm excited to try this on. I don't know if this is really going to show on my lips. I feel that my lips have a lot of pigmentation, but we'll see. Let's swatch them and see what each shade looks like. This is Vendetta from Pat McGrath. Wow, all right, that's a nice red. Feels creamy. This I already swatched, but just for the sake of having the swatch next to the other colors, that's Pillow Talk. I have the Rare Beauty Gloss. What shade is this? Nearly Neutral. The next one is NARS. What is it? Yeah, Orgasm. That's what I thought. I don't, I have not tried this formula. I've heard that it's very comfortable and very moisturizing. It doesn't feel like a super thick gloss. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. Does this even really work, this lip injection? I'll put it on real quick. It's probably gonna tingle and we'll let it do its thing as we continue to swatch the others. Now we have this one from Urban Decay. It's in the shade Back Top and it's a matte formula. Looks more mauve than Pillow Talk. And next is this lipstick from Give. The one, this is Gwen Stefani's brand. Anaheim Shine, original recipe. Let's swatch it next to the other red. This is almost like a blue red. Brighter, not as not as deep as the Pat McGrath red. Both very intense. Okay, so which one should I pick for today? I did forget to powder the rest of the face, so I know that I'm all over the <laughs> I'm all over the place in this video, but just around the perimeter of the face to set the foundation. I'm gonna go with this one. Anaheim, Anaheim Shine. How's a Too Faced lip injection thing doing? I don't think it really makes a difference, or does it? Is it in my head? I feel like my lips look a little bit plumper, but I don't know if it's just a psychological thing. I don't know. Let's just take it off and put on some lip liner. I have this one from YSL that I got a million years ago. It doesn't have a shade, it just says number seven. This is really pretty. I'm back, I went to eat something and let's take this opportunity now that my lipstick is off to try another one. I'm dying to try the, um, the Pillow Talk one from Charlotte Tilbury. Let's use one of her lip liners. This is Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk 2. If you don't know, Pillow Talk is a classic shade from Miss Charlotte Tilbury. It was so popular that she made it into a whole collection. So you'll find Pillow Talk lipsticks, lip glosses, um, eyeshadow quads, probably even blushes. 
Yeah, there's probably a, a face palette. I bet you there's a face palette called Pillow Talk something. It's very much this Charlotte kind of signature aesthetic look, kind of like the pinky brown kind of colors. Absolutely beautiful. But I have a feeling that the regular Pillow Talk will be too light for my lips. Let's take a moment to appreciate this lip liner. This is one of my very favorite lip liners. Really good combo with pretty much any nude lip liner. I mean, any nude lipstick. Moment of truth. A little bit on the um, muted side, but I like it. Yay. Why am I still smelling? It smells good. Man, I can tell that I'm coming back to life. I was really hungry. Why didn't I eat sooner? Next up, eyes. Quite excited about this one. I have not even opened it, you guys. This is, oh, look at that. This is pretty. This is really, really pretty. We have, let me figure out how to hold this thing without it falling. Things we take for granted when we watch beauty YouTube videos and you see people just handling the, the palettes like nothing. It, it takes a little bit to, to know how to, how to hold things. Yeah. Oh man, my mic just fell there. No, technical difficulties. First, I'm gonna go in with ashes all over the lid. And just like other ABH palettes, this is a little powdery. So make sure to tap off the excess. So it's gonna go all over the eye. Okay, I know that this blush disaster is super distracting. I will attempt to fix that next. Oh, I've been blurry this whole time. I'm looking straight ahead so that the camera finds my eye and focuses. Otherwise, I can't find my eyeball, it won't focus. I'm gonna do a halo eye with Noble first. And I'm gonna create a halo, so placing it here near the inner corner. I'm a, I'm a big fan of these grungier tones. Oh goodness, that, that blush is horrendous. It's atrocious. How am I gonna fix it? Let's grab ashes again, put it in the lower lash line. Which color to choose for the center? Nova or haze? Let's see, I, I gotta swatch both. This is Nova and this is haze. I am gonna do haze. Haze in the middle, that's gonna look beautiful. Super pretty, this is gorgeous. Packing on more haze over here. Oh my God, it's such a gorgeous color. Let's use more of these colors. What else can I throw on here? Orange, rose fire. Should we go with rose fire? Rose fire. This is really powdery. So I'm gonna tap it here in the back of my hand again, just to get it on the brush well, cause otherwise it's just too crumbly. That's actually prettier than I thought it would be. And it is an orange, but orange normally doesn't sound like a very good shade. Let's call it copper. For the inner corner, how about, now we go with heavenly. It's a little crumbly. So I'm gonna pick it up with a brush and then tap it here in the back of my hand, distribute it evenly on the brush. You see how soft the shadow is? Crumbly looking. I'm also going to take that heavenly shade and put it here in the brow bone, bit of a highlight. Normally brow bone highlights are not very um, very exciting, but I particularly like this one. It's not too white, has the right amount of shimmer. Cannot wait to try the other shades some other time. Okay, let's attempt to fix the blush fiasco. Let's wipe off the powder. This is the baking setting powder. It is so blurring. That I am so amazed. The under eye really looks blurred. Yes, the lines, I mean, you'll always be able to see the lines. Makes them a little bit more textury, more crunchy, so to speak. The finish of it is very nice, very blurring. I think I definitely put too much, too much of it. I mean, if you're not 20, you can't be putting on that much powder. So I'm really excited to see what this powder looks like when you put it on sparingly. So this is a foundation brush. It still has a little bit of foundation left on it. What I think I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna grab a setting spray. I have a feeling that if we wet the brush a little bit, then it'll be able to, to blend everything nicely. So come on, you can do it. Blend, 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 blend. Yeah, I think it's working. I think it's blended now. All right, we took care of that. Next up, we have an eyeliner from House Labs in the shade Onyx Gold Shimmer. And I'll show you what sold me on this eyeliner. I was browsing the, the House Labs website. I came across this picture and I was like, I have to try it. it. Comes with a little brush too. Let's swatch this. 
Oh, that's pretty. Feels screamy, it's dark, and the shimmer is very pretty. I wonder if it'll be noticeable once it's on the eye, though. Oh, no. In order to see the shimmer, though, I think that you need to draw a thicker line. I didn't want to go very thick. Okay, let's do a bit thicker. I'm going to make it thicker here towards the end. I'm going to grab the brush, pull out maybe like a little wing action. You can tell that there is dimension to, to the black liner. I don't really know if the camera is gonna pick it up, especially because it's having trouble focusing whenever I close my eyes. Close one eye, keep the other one open. <laughs> okay, this wing is actually coming out nice and I wasn't recording, so I stopped halfway. And let's see if I can get it. Get it to wing out like it just started to. All right, so this eyeliner is a hit in my book. My eyebrows need to be tamed. I am going to use the um, Milani Clear Brow Gel. I think I tried this one before and by the end of the day, I had white bits. So I have to do a wear test and actually make note. Maybe it, maybe it wasn't this brow gel. Maybe it was another one that gave me those dry white bits. Let's see, what else do we have? Do we have anything left from the Sephora haul? One more thing I, I do want to do, and I'm pulling out Peach Twist from MAC. This has a little bit of shimmer in it, and I think this shade is gonna look really nice be because it's sort of, it's a little bit more like a, like a bronzer. I love that it gives just a little bit of glow. And I'm really liking this brush too. I got it, I think, I forget who I saw. I think it was Angela Bright that I saw recommending this brush. It's the Spotlight Duster from Sigma. And when I received it, you'll notice it is super, super soft. I was like, what exactly should I be using this for? Well, it turns out that I really like it for blush. I also like it for just finishing powder. This is really nice because I feel that it doesn't, it doesn't disturb any of the makeup that you have already on since the bristles are so soft. I'm finding several uses for this brush. And it has a small tapered tip, so if you wanna just get in here in the apple of the cheek without the blush getting down low, it gives, it gives, you, uh, it gives you control, precision. I am gonna do some bronzer. I'll be using this bronzer from Il Maquillage. It's called Waka Waka. This is with an airy brush from It Cosmetics. Just warm up forehead. I really like the tone of this bronzer. It's not too orange, it's not too brown. I feel that for, if you have a bit of an olive, sort of like an olive complexion, this color looks very flattering, natural without it looking too orange nor too red. And I'm using this brush again because the bristles are loose. They're not tightly packed. So it's not depositing a lot of color all at once. And now as a finishing touch, I'm gonna use setting spray to melt all the products together, the colors together, get rid of any powdery look. I love the mister of this spray because it's really, really soft. And I take my beauty blender and press it in. Oh my God, how did I forget mascara? This is nuts. I'm telling you, I'm all over the place today. I'm so excited about the sale. I have more things in my cart. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait for the next sale though. And I'm gonna keep my eye peeled for those specific brands' websites come Black Friday, see if they have any good deals. I want some volume here. So I'm gonna start with the primer from Dior, get a good layer of primer all the way down to the roots. The mascara that I'll be using, I did not expect it to be anything special. And that is the this mascara from Rare Beauty. I have the mini. I find that it gives me volume and it doesn't flake at all. By the end of the day, there are no flakes. And I don't know why I really was not expecting much from the mascara. So I, I tried it fully expecting it to, to smudge and flake by the end of the day and it did not. Plus, like I said, I liked the volumizing effect. So very nice surprise, this mascara. I like the brush. The, the bristles seem to hold on to my lashes and coat them well and lift them. I guarantee you that I have a camera setting that is not set properly. It can't be this difficult to stay in focus. And before we're done the finishing touch, I'll put on the Rare Beauty nat Nearly Natural Gloss on top of the Pillow Talk. Feels very comfortable. It's not super thick or it's sticky. I don't mind super thick and sticky glosses sometimes. I like it. It has a adequate, adequate grip, adequate, uh, I don't know what to call it. 
All right, so we finished the look and I'm so excited, you guys, about all of these concealers and the wear tests that are coming up for all of my fellow over 40 ladies and gents. I'm excited, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be a good series. And if you haven't subscribed, go on and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.